What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. I'm actually still sick. I've been sick for about a week. I got the tissues on deck. On screen is an accurate representation of me. Over the course of the past one week, I've been in bed. I've been ill. I had the strep throat. I got the strepsils and all this type of shit. I I've got it all basically. I've been going through it. But my name is Jack. I produce daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money, make a video. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Today we're jumping into a tutorial on a brand new free video editing software software that is more or less exclusively for beginners. You're not doing too much crazy advanced stuff in this particular software, but you're definitely chopping some stuff up, cutting some stuff out, and uh, for all my beginners out there, it's perfect. On the screen right now is Olive, free video editor. It's Got a relatively funny name, I guess. And basically, we're gonna be breaking down a tutorial. Now, this is gonna be an interactive tutorial. So, if you wanna download the exact clips, music, particles, and sound effects that I'm gonna be using in this tutorial, the link is down below, and this is the exact Dropbox folder you're gonna be greeted with when you click on it. Anyways, let's exit out of that. This is the sample sequence we're gonna be building. It's more or less just a compilation of me walking in the park, walking through the walking through the park or whatever, and uh, basically it just ends with some cool particles and stuff. So download that stuff down below if you want to follow through. If you don't want to follow through, no problem. Don't download it and uh, <laughs> just watch. Anyways, I'm going to completely disregard that and I'm going to open a new project. I'm going to go up here to the plus. Um, and uh, actually, that's the wrong thing. I should go to file and I should go to import. Then it's going to load this up. I want to literally just highlight everything other than the sample project and the sample one, which was a test render from before. Press open, let's load all our stuff up, and this is what Olive Editor looks like when you've loaded everything up. Bada bing, bada boom. Then what you should be able to do is, uh, you know, literally just start dragging clips to the timeline, right? And you see there's a little plus. Um, now, we could do that, or what we could do is we could open up the clips one by one in the... Um, uh, viewer over here. You see, we could actually do the media viewer and we can actually start adding in and out points, which is basically where the clip will start because I don't want these clips to play the whole way through, right? So let's do this super quickly first. That's where I want clip number one to start. We're in a sound of by my legs. I'm going to press I and you see how that sort of changes the, the space. Awesome. That's exactly what we want. We're going to press that. We're going to drag that down here and add it to the timeline, right? Absolutely phenomenal. That is exactly what we want. Now I want to actually go and get my uh, my music, right? This is produced by No Brain. Shout out to my bad. It's not No Brain. This is produced by Invade King. How did I say No Brain? No Brain's another legend on the channel as well. Not No Brain. No Brain couldn't produce this to save his life, I don't think. Shout out to you, No Brain. Um, this is produced by Invade King. I'm rushing this shit, man. How did I say that? Shout out to Invade King. I'm sorry I messed your name up with No Brain. You have plenty of a brain to be able to produce such a phenomenal piece of art like this. Uh, amazing beat. Let's give it a play and let's start syncing up this first clip. So I want to actually chop it right on that kind of beat. So you see I'm, I'm actually just chopping it to the waveform. And to chop, it's very simple. You press C, which corresponds with chop, and then you just tap and then press V to switch back to the normal tool, delete that thing on the side, right? Now let's open up clip number two. And you see there's two viewers. This is the media viewer, and this is actually your sequence viewer. So whatever's here on the timeline will show up in this viewer here. Whatever we're sort of working through will show up uh, uh, in, in here, right? So let's play this next clip. Um, we just want to find a kind of a good spot where I am. Okay, so that's probably a good spot right there. And yeah, I sort of jump over this thing. Let's bring this down right here. Boom. And let's actually just go ahead and play it in. And what I want to do is actually just add a cut right there so that we sort of chop through it a little bit. Boom, bring that over. And actually, I'm just going to chop a little bit more out of it. You'll see what I'm doing in a split second. Uh oh, before I don't delete everything. Um, and then let's chop it right there. Uh, oh, God damn it. What have I done? There we go. So let's play that from the beginning. Let's, let's see what we got. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So we're already starting to sync stuff up. Now I just press Control S accidentally. Let's press it again and let's just go sample, sample project V2, just so we got to save, right? If you're not, if you're new to editing, you might not know that you need to be saving your projects every two seconds because editors are just unreliable. They might crash, whatever the case may be, right? All right. Next clip, number C0014 up here. This is me walking more. Let's keep scrolling along. I'm literally just dragging and, and, and scrolling, right? Um, and I wanna, I wanna take it from there where I'm actually kind of walking through the puddle. Um, and again, oh, the I is not working on this one for some reason. I'm just gonna press I, I and O at the end. There we go. Drag that again. 
Boom, let's, let's give it a play. Boom, so we can chop it on the beat again. And I'm just syncing everything up. It's a very simple procedure to sync stuff up. I'm just waiting to see the next boom, pretty much. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm just scrolling along in these clips and seeing where I want to start it. I'm going to press I. Right here, I'm pressing I. And um, obviously, that's starting it there. Let's, let's go. I like these clips right here. All right, let's have a look, man. Probably gonna chop it right there as well, just to uh, to not have it lagging out for too long. You know, what I mean, I, I don't want the clip to, to be on the screen for too long. I don't want to lose the viewer's attention, aka you. Um, now I'm just still scrolling along, still scrolling along. Let's have a look. There you go. This is where the clip starts to get pretty cool. I like this part right here. There you go. And these are all taken from my last editing contest, by the way. I'm gonna be doing another editing contest very soon. There we go. Boom. Chop that out. Absolutely amazing. Everything's looking pretty phenomenal right now. Um, let me let me give this a play. Amazing. And by the way, we're going to add some text, effects, all that type of stuff is coming next. All right, don't even sweat it. So let's actually get this final clip and we would have actually built the sequence, man. Let's, uh, let's give this one a play. So I'm walking, I'm walking. Start that right there. Drag it over. And it looks like we pretty much built a sequence. Invade King Beats. Awesome. So you see when that says Invade King Beats, it doesn't say No Brain Beats. Screw you, No Brain, for getting in my brain and infecting it. I messed up the shout out to, to Invade. I'm kidding. Not, not screw you, No Brain. No Brain's a real person. Shout out to you, No Brain. Bigger shout out to Invade King. <laughs> invade King Beats. There you go. Cool. So let's, let's find where that actually hits. Invade King Beats. All right. Invade. There you go. Looks like it's there. Right? I'm just gonna press that, boom, cut that out, and we have just selected this area. Let's give it a play, start to finish, see what it's looking like, see if it's all on beat. Little bit of preview lag, nothing to be concerned about. Invade King Beats. There you go, okay, cool, cool, cool. So it's looking good, in, in my humble opinion, right? Uh, now what I want to do is I want to get the text tool out. Now the text tool is found down here, right? Whoop, where is it? It's down here. Title, and we actually just want to actually go ahead and just drag this out from there. I'm going to show you why in a second. That might not be perfect, but what I'm trying to do is the second beat, I want to, I want to have the text come in, right? There you go. So it looks like I actually got that pretty, pretty on point. Um, and to actually start messing with this, we want to open up the effects tile. Title, effects title up here. Edit text It's going to open this up. And let's actually just pre uh, call it um, a walk in the park, right? This is just a random title I'm giving it. Let's open up the fonts. Um, let's press G. Gotham Ultra is sort of my signature font around here. Let's press OK. Now it's tiny. My bad. Let's open that back up. It says 36. Why don't we go for 72? Just straight up double it. All right. There you go. It's at least looking a little bit better. Um, and also, let's add a little bit of kind of coolness to it. Put some shadow on there. Uh, shadow distance, maybe a little bit like there. Shadow angle, bring it down there. A little bit of softness to it, maybe the tiniest bit of softness. We're not we're, we're not softies around here. We we got to give a tiny bit of softness, and uh, and that should be pretty good. Let's give it a play. Nice. So it's looking good. It comes in on beat. Boom. And I told you this is a pretty simple editor, but for a lot of you guys out there, my beginners. That's why I'm catering it to my beginners. This is cool. This is a good little editor. You know what I mean? Olive, free video editor, free video editing software. Uh, and now that we've added that title, that's more or less all, all we wanted to do, right? Is add that little title right there. But what I want to do is I want to add another title at the very end. What I want to do is hold this and hold Alt and click it. And that's actually going to duplicate it. So just like that, we've gone ahead and duplicated it. And I want to go ahead on this particular text. And I want to just go to the bottom and, and type, by Jack. By Jack. You know what I mean? By Jack, or I mean, you know, I, I throw my last name on there as well. Oh, looks like my fucking last name glitched out big time. And what I want to do is I want to see if I can actually uh, change the font of just this. I'm not too sure if I can just change the font of one bit of text. Oh, looks like I can. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Awesome. Um, and now obviously drag it out a bit. And it looks like that's a good beat. We could get it going off. Get it going. And now's the, now's the good part. Now, now I want to drag in something called the particles, all right? Throw the particles. It looks like they're not big enough. Let's scale it up a little bit, right? Bada, bada bing, bada boom. Scale it up a little bit. And now what we've got... King beats. 
that's what I'm talking about. Cool. So we're building a cool sequence at this point. Um, and all I want to do is I want to press a keyframe here. Keyframe is tracking the animation, right? So you see it's 100. If I press the keyframe here at 100, and then I actually go all the way to the end, right? I go, I go to the end, um, or I drag that out so I can actually get to the end, um, the end of this selection. And I want to just make the scale 125. So it's actually zooming in. Drag that just to the end, right? Drag it to the end, not a problem. And let's actually go ahead and see how cool this looks. If it looks cool at all, let's have a look. Invade King Thieves. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad. It's looking a little bit forced, I'll be real. So I'm actually gonna go over here and, uh, and just make it 120 because uh, I, I just like it not to look too forced at the end of the day. Um, and it's looking like I can highlight these Right click them and uh, I'm not going to do anything with those. Screw it. We'll leave that how it is, all right? Now, what I want to do is start fading stuff out, which is going to be using more keyframes. And then at, at that point, we pretty much nearly made the whole, the whole sequence, all right? So before the next beat, basically before it hits here, I want to actually have it, all, have it all done pretty much, right? So this right here, the text. As soon as that goes, I want to have the particles start fading out. All right. Oh, again, I'm doing stuff pretty quick. Um, so the way we do that is we do that under opacity. So as soon as the, the text goes, I want to create a 100% opacity um, keyframe. And then I want to bring this all the way over here and I want to make the opacity zero. And then I want to pretty much just have it right on the end. Make sure this is on the last possible frame so it fully fades out. Also, it starts to fade out as you see, right? And then it'll it'll work its way to nothing. But I want the audio to also do that, right? So let's actually go here to audio and let's just create a keyframe for volume. Very simple. Nothing crazy has been done here at all. Let's drag the cursor right to the end and let's put the volume on zero. And just like that, if we press O, which is going to create an out point, so we highlight this part of the sequence right here. Um, if I actually press O and then I actually bring my, my mouse to the beginning, Remember, there's going to be a tiny bit of preview lag because we haven't rendered this yet, but let's see what we've created in basically 10 minutes. Let's give it a go. Yes! Hell yeah, that's looking perfect. In my humble opinion, that's looking fucking phenomenal. Amazing. So, the only thing left to do is to export it. Phenomenal, let's do it. After we've edited everything up, all we gotta do is literally go up here to export. Who would have known? That seems a little bit too obvious. Maybe it's a trap. It's not. Um, the codec should be changed to MPEG. That's the best one in my opinion, alright? Um, and then simply we press export, and it tells us where do we want to export it. We literally call this sample v2. And it starts to export. No, it doesn't. It says that it failed to send frame to encoder. The first time I've ever received that message in my entire life. I'm starting to think that it might be a, a plot to uh, to steal all my money. I'm completely chatting shit. That's I, I don't know what that is. Let's call it sample two. See if it starts. It failed. Export failed. Failed to send frame to encoder. So what's that about? Right? This is the first time this has basically ever happened to me. All right? So it's phenomenal. What we're going to do right here is troubleshoot this to get it. Um, Perhaps I try and export with a different different thing. Samp. I'm gonna call this one Samp. Okay, so it starts starts exporting just with a different codec. Interesting. I'm not too sure how well this codec is gonna play out, but let's give it a try together. My favorite rapper is Kodak Black. The word codec is relatively close to Kodak. So I'm just trusting in the process here that everything will be okay. That's my rationale for for it being okay. I'm relatively sure that this particular uh, export preset is not quite as quality as the first one. But I've been wrong before, and I'm open to be being wrong again. I can't fuck away to be wrong again. Let me get let me get this water so we're actually you know being efficient with our time. Let's have a look. We're exporting right now together. I would advise you use codec number one, the MPEG. But we're, we're you know fingers crossed this one looks good as well. In my experience, I'm pretty sure this one is a little bit lower quality. But for the purposes of this tutorial. It's the one that worked. At the end of the day, you know, I love things going wrong in my tutorials because that's sort of a more accurate representation of what fucking editing is like. Editing 
There is constant problems happening. I promise you that. You might have a day of editing, everything's good. A week even, everything good. And then out of nowhere, the, the problems start start coming on in, man. I promise you, it's, uh, it's glitch central editing, right? So that's accurate what just happened right there. Let's actually load up SAMP. Okay, it's looking like this is a complete massacre of quality, right? All right, that's that's a complete massacre of quality. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the hell you know they were even thinking by having that as an option. All all we can do is assume that that was a, a glitch, right? Um, glitch. I'm just gonna save this as glitch. So that's literally just not even working. First time this has ever happened. Very interesting situation. <coughs> Maybe we go to Windows Media. Um, let's just try export a Windows Media. Why not? I'm gonna call this one. Why not? At this point. You know, we've reached the end of tutorial. I know for a fact that that they should be working. I also know for a fact that it's not working. So we're uh, we're basically just gonna have to have to troubleshoot. Essentially, it's all good. Not a problem at all. I genuinely think that part of the reason this is happening could potentially be because I'm running other programs in the background. Um, in fact, I'm I'm nearly a hundred percent. So in fact. What we could do is just keep trying a couple different codecs and uh, you know, if it's not working, absolutely no problem. What, uh, what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is, um, is basically turn off the screen record, render, and then we should be okay, right? I'm gonna call this one should be okay. Nope, failed to, exp failed to, to render. All right, no problem. I'll be back in two seconds. Let me just turn off my program, render it, and I'll be back. See you in a second. Well, after many failed attempts, I can only assume that there is an actual person in my computer that is essentially blocking this process from going through. I don't know how they got in there, but I'm pretty much going to have to end the tutorial now so I can open the, the computer case and beat the shit out of this person for messing up my tutorial. Um, of course, that's a complete lie, and I have no clue what's going on with this, but I can only... Cross my fingers and hope that the same thing doesn't happen to you. This was not happening to me before. I literally built this whole sequence to make sure that I knew exactly what I was doing before and was able to render out a sample, more or less the exact thing, right? Um, but this one right here that you're looking at, right? This is one that I built yesterday. This isn't the exact thing that, that I built today, right? But it rendered fine. I have no clue what's happening. I can only assume, like I said, that there is somebody in my computer that's trying to embarrass me and screw up my tutorial, in which case I'm gonna have to go finish the job, um, which I haven't even started yet. So I'm gonna go start the job and then finish it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Oh shit, my bad. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Um, you know, I, I, I luckily didn't even cough, didn't even sneeze, didn't, did nothing. I didn't even need these tissues. I think I might be 100% better. You know who's not gonna be better? The person in my computer who's fucking up my tutorial. I'm about to go beat somebody's ass. Love you guys. Have a great day. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you're not already because this is hands down the best channel on the entire internet for video production tutorials. Don't ask me. Ask this guy. Wait, me? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's the best channel on the internet for video production tutorials. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't lie. I, I wouldn't bullshit you, man.